Alright. So, this here um, recently came out of a Ford F-150. Um, it, it's actually because of this thing uh, being of no use. Uh, it's an SXV 300 vehicle tuner. Uh, this is for the Sirius XM and Sirius networks. But, um, that's, I'm not sure about it around the world, but here in the States, it is surely, just die, um, it, it's surely widespread. Same with Canada. It comes with this nice, double insulated? I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to cut this to find out, or we'll find out once we get there. Um... Screwdriver. Um, that is going to be not. Is it going to be where I think it is? Torch. Uh, T8. How about that? No, smaller. Okay. Uh, I need to work a little bit further forward than I'm used to. Actually, hold on. I'll be right back. Scoot it down just for the convenience because I need to work close to the edge here. So, it's not T8. T7, if I can get that in. Does a T7 fit? Barely. Size down. Whoop. P6. Money. Okay. So. A screw wherever that went. I suppose I'll put this here right now. Let's see here. Find the. Ooh, that one was a bit tight. One more. Okay, there it is. Will this easily come apart or will it be clipped? I have a sneaky, 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 sneaky feeling. Feels like there's a screw. Um. Okay, I need a blade. Now I have a blade flowing around somewhere. Um. One moment. Okay, this will do for now. Maybe if I don't slice a hand or a finger open the process. Or knock the tablet down. So that's the last thing we need is the tablet to be falling down. Uh, this is proving a bit difficult, this label. I will be right back. A few moments later in real time because it's open. It's actually, it actually was clipped open and it opened in my hand while I was trying to remove that sticker. So the case is in two pieces. No need to remove that sticker because there is no screws there. Just a foam pad. Felt. Yeah. So things I see here, there is a uh, let's put the bit away before I lose it. Put the standard thing in.
So, there's a capacitor right here, and two, well, here's a massive diode. Um, massive diode, something, there's a six pin chip, there's another massive diode, and there's a controller right there. There's the coax in. Uh -huh. So, this alludes to this thing that oddly looks like an S video adapter here. Black is not the best to film right now. Um, so, do I have a better blade floating around here other than that small tiny one that you guys see? Uh -huh. So, well, is that clipped? If it is clipped. I mean, it's just, it's going in the trash anyway, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't work or not. All I know is this needs to come off in order for us to see, so... I'm having stuff stick to me. Um, that's coming down. I'm trying to not stab myself with a screwdriver here. Hey, Gotcha, that's a locking mechanism. Noted. Um, can I still... Push... In here. Or do I need a smaller bit? This more bit, this thing that's chewing. Multiple appearances of that toolkit. Uh, one click. Slipping. Let's get the wire to hold right. This is Chewing. Oh, I'm off shot. Okay. Okay, oh. Oh, this is that silly... You get it open on one side, it closes on the other. Ow. Just destroy it, why don't we? It's, I don't have any use anymore. There goes the bit. Uh, slip a bit back in there. Of course, in ignorance, again. There's a piece of that. Oh well. Oh, I think I just permanently bent that in. Ah, so... This is a bit more difficult than I thought, so... It is indeed insulated. I will be right back so while I cut this. Okay, the deed has been done. Um, this is what is on the other end of the cable. Not quite exciting. 
can also see I've had quite a bit of a incident. What we're probably more interested about is this. Oh, can I get that off? There we go. Just slides out like that. So. Actually, I just pull these out of the way. Actually, no, I'll do the wiggle trick. Okay, that's three wires done. Four, five, six. Okay, cable's disconnected. We don't need this anymore, so I just toss it down on the floor. I will show. This over here. So, don't mind the watch and all the buzzing. What do we have here? So we have a little input. We have a big fat capacitor right here. Let's focus down. Um, let's see here. We have this, this shield right here. Input. So probably it goes to a different layer. I think I can see it. There's a track skedaddling underneath there, so I think that's coming off. The next is this can. Can we. Oh, yes. Hold on, let me lock off intensity. Yep. Yeah. I should probably keep doing that, but oh well. Okay. Get this can off. What do we have here? Ooh, we have a little bit of... Yee, okay. Well, first things first, we got a little bit of milk cooking. Uh, Let's get something small. Probably flat. work as well. But yeah. Okay. Now we are uninterrupted. Let's give that a slight zoom. Zoom down. So let's Zoom so so small. So move that over there. So we got a press. Oh, it's an ST part. STA nine one five AC. Interesting. What the what was this part down here? Uh, ADW. One five Q O one. Never heard of that. There's this tiny A seven transistor. Oh wait, no A seven. That's a MOSFET. And then we got a Samsung DRAM module here. So this is this is that an ARM processor. Good voltage up here with a little bit of scrubbing going on. Wonderful. Um, what is that? Oh, it's got a number on it. What's the number? I can't read it. Let's zoom in a little bit more. This may look entirely grainy and I may just go off shot. Uh, I can't read that. I can't read that on this on this screen. People who are uh, on computers might have an easier time reading this, and likewise for people on phones, because I'm recording this on a tablet. I can barely read that, but you guys can see that this is a Samsung module. 
Why do they this is a two or six mag module? And then we got the STA915AC here. Made in Malaysia. Nice. Um, I'm, am I catching things with my watch? No. We got a. Sorry for if you guys get motion sickness doing during this. A J six something. I can't read it. Um. So let's zoom out. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take a look at this. I might uh get some close-up shots with the better phone. With the better device. Uh, the phone, actually, not uh, this thing here, because uh, it, it, it does have the dual aperture cameras that work at the same time, and and I'll use that and I'll print out some photos. Um, hopefully, I can get that worked out. If not, oh well. All right, we have some imagery. I recently just printed this out. I took it again. I took it on this. This is a Samsung Galaxy phone here. It's actually an S9 Plus. Some people hate them, some people love them. I, I like it for the cameras. But anyway, I digress. So, we have... I have actually yet to figure out any of these chips here. I just figured to up my little bit to ramble on a little bit for a bigger image and to let you guys um well i couldn't get much uh detail on the text on this image other than this here and some of this here um but uh what was i saying um some assistance with you guys tr giving a guess as to what the this thing is, um, and this and this, because this a bigger's eight pin chip probably is like a, a memory chip, a read only memory, a serial memory chip, whatnot. Because I could not find a number on that. I mean, it says NXIC, but nothing underneath that. The rest of it's been scrubbed up, so who knows, I might be able to find, whoop, I might be able to find, um, something on that chip right there. So, for those who are wanting to give it a go with their cells, here's the front side. Get that out of the way. And here's the back side. So, yeah, um, I'm going to give it a, a good whip and I will note tape these things down. Um, I will probably need to get a writing stick for that because, yeah, I don't have a writing stick in here, so yeah, be right back. Alright, that was some interesting um reverse engineering there um i didn't go too deep in detail you know i didn't go and trace the tracks out or whatnot or did anything uh regarding these unmarked service mod components that you see here uh, like capacitors resistors whatnot i only searched down the interesting parts and uh, let's get to this main bit here this is a two gigabyte ddr3 memory. Samsung, as it says here, 2GIB mem. Um, right next to it, this chip right here, where I was thinking, you know, that could be a uh, serial memory chip. It is a 32 megabit serial flash. So, I got a kitty cat trying to get in here. Uh, this capacitor right here is a 25 volt 470 microfarad. Javi, well done by red silicone. Same thing with this thing here. Uh, the number for this here 
did not turn up. Uh, it actually ended up being a whole bunch of houses, but I'm guessing this here is the power supply for this and this. Uh, we got this mystery component here. I did not write the number down for that. Um, but I'm guessing that's a diode shunt for this here. In which I'm guessing this is a tuner chip here. So this is a analog devices jobby here. Um, as you can see, you got this track going there, slipping underneath there, going to here, going to this bypass cap, probably acting as a, a filter of some sort. And then it's going to here, splitting off to here and here, this capacitor resistor, and then this block here, which I could not get a number off of because it was so small. This had ADW. Um, ADW15001, um, that turned up nothing other than local area houses yet again. Um, this is an STA, um, 915AC, um, as you can see here by the arrow leading this here. I'm guessing it is an ARM Cortex-A3 type thingy to drive the audio processing. Um, oh. Let's get it right way around here. Uh, that's this big thing right here. Memory's here. Serial flash is here. I presume the power supply here. And then this is the tuner chip. Um, there's, I also marked down this thing here because this is a uh, A7 transistor or MOSFET. It, it looks like it's set up as an NPN thing. So, there's that. So, let's see, memory, flash memory, PSU, processor, tuner, capacitor, let's see here. So down there. This is the back here. Interesting to note, Texas Instruments PCM5100A, 2 by 32 bit digital to analog converters in this bad boy right here. It's a uh, 16 or 20 pin package and it's actually this thing right here on the support. This thing is on the... Um, that thing is here relative. So, yeah, more here, but still. It's on the output of that tuner, so to speak. Um, we got the DAX here. Right here is an EEPROM, E squared PROM, uh, 64K bytes, which is neat. Um, this one is, I think it said an a, uh, on semi. Speaking of on semi, we got a couple of on semi components here. These two here seem to be diodes um, by looking at them. Um, they have the on semi logo, the on semi circle. Um, not sure about these two components here because they do not have a number on it. Bastages. Um, this thing here, I could not get a search on. Um, but it's marked down as a diode, so it might be a, a flyback type thing or a reverse polarity. Um, we also have this MOSFET right here. It's an N channel. It says TP501, but it's actually the NTD6416AN. N channel MOSFET by on semi. Uh, it also has like signature on semi uh, logo on there. Same with this diet. Incidentally, both of these diodes, I did not write them down. Um, they're H01-1336. Uh, they did not have anything to note on them because, yeah. These here, I'm guessing these are just, you know, uh, miscellaneous support components. They don't have anything intelligible on it. They're right next to this great big zero ohm link, so I'm guessing they're doing something. 
Other than that, um, there's really not much exciting on here. I mean, the only thing that could be exciting is when this thing goes, but it's on a limited 12 volt supply. Interesting. Um, well, everything's going off. Um, as I did say, this also, this came out of a Ford F-150. So, uh, there's quite a bit of beef on the 12 volt rail for that there. Uh, incidentally, this is only 85C rated, rated. Yeah, you can see right there. Is it, is it nippy? Is that Chemicon? Chemicon, Chemicon? No, it is just a generic capacitor. So, I'm not quite sure about the stability of this. This, uh, Inductor right here could be of some sort of decent quality Probably being driven by this MOSFET and diode arrangement. That's probably a back EMF diode uh, That is I don't know where that's to Probably to here. I don't know Interesting nonetheless um, Given the data I'm gonna I did earlier. So spread this, set this out in camera view. Hold still for a second and let you guys take a photo so you guys can reverse engineer it yourselves and possibly get a circuit diagram. Um and yeah. Next one. Um if any of you guys can uh get some circuit diagrams um and that would be nice um i might send this video off to um other more technically com uh, well eh, comprehensible people oh i just turned the light out um that way uh some better uh ordeal can go on with this um, it would be nice to see if anyone can figure out the exact chips on here. Um, kind of unfortunate that I couldn't get numbers on m most of the chips, but some of them I did. And this capacitor was quite easy because if I were to bring it back into camera, it, th there's the rating right there. And laterally, if you were to look, it is printed right there. So, yeah. Interesting. Uh, this is a serial flash, that's why it's listed as 32 MB as flash. Serial flash, it's 4 IOs. Uh, so, yeah. I did it again. Um, yeah, you got an input jack here. There's this thing. All the work is underneath this can here, except for all these components down here. Quite interesting. Uh, quite surprised there's not, not much bypassing in there, that processor right there. Though that, that 2 gig memory chip should have gave, given away that it's an ARM processor of some sort. Interesting nonetheless. Um, I shall, uh, get this dealt with. There's some other things you need to do other than, you know, figure what is going on here. Mm, drinkage. Um, and yeah, I got a little bit of a invading avalanche above. But yeah, if anyone has an idea of what um, these parts are here, um, and not really the uh, miscellaneous parts here, um, that would be nice to know.